welcome to your class we are doing the chapter name of the chapter is what the natural calamities what is the name of the chapter natural calamities so we are doing about the earth no earthquake last class you have learned about the earthquake and what are the effects of the earthquake little bit revision we will do about the earthquake so you all are knowing that our earth core is made up of three layer it is made up of three layer okay so our core is made up of what three layer the core mantle and crust what are the three layer core mantle and crust the crust of the earth made up of plates this crust is made up of plates and when plate slide passes each other it causes the shaking it causes the shaking of the earth and that is a known as earthquake that is known as what earthquake an earthquake differ in intensity some are mild or hardly you can feel and some are what are severe and it causes major disturbance of life and property disturbance of life and property the earthquake is measured you can measure the earthquake on richter scale how you can measure it on richter scale yes with the help of a instrument called what is the name of the instrument seismograph the with the help of a instrument called seismograph okay it so it is clear to you about the earthquake so you are knowing about earthquake that our earth is made up of what three layer what are the three layer core mantle and crust yes earth is made up of three layer core mantle and crust okay and crust of the earth made up of plate and this crust of the earth made up of plate and when the plate slide passes each other it causes the shaking of the earth it causes the shaking of the earth and that is known as what earthquake that is known as earthquake earthquake can be severe when it is severe then you have seen the damage of building everything and mild earthquake little bit you can feel it okay two type of earthquake can't it an earthquake is measured on what richter scale earthquake is measured on what richter scale okay and with the help of the instrument what is the name of that instrument seismograph okay with the help of the instrument seismograph now next you have seen about the effect of the earthquake the point under the earth surface where earthquake began called focus the point under the earth surface where earthquake began that is known as what focus and corresponding point on the earth surface called epicenter corresponding point on the earth surface is called what epicenter what are the effect of the earthquake you have learned so collapse of big structure of building result in crack on the wall and the building when earthquake will be there short circuit of electricity fire and also cause fire also due to the short circuits of electricity dam can break and result what result will be there flood can come there loses of life of many people and animals okay these are the effect of the earthquake what are the effect when earthquake will be occur then what are the effect of the earthquake collapse of big structure of building people will die dam will break of the dam then flood can come 
the result of short circuit of the electricity if short circuit will be there then it cause fire also cause fire also now today you will know some prevention of earthquake some prevent preventive measure okay some preventive measure of earthquake what you will know today some preventive measure of earthquake so what are the some preventive measure of the Okay, student. In case of earthquake occurred, try to move out in open space like park or open ground. When earthquake will be occurred, what you have to do? You have to move out of the open space, park or open ground. Okay, park or open ground you have to move. Do not stand under the near tree electric poles. Don't stand under the electric pole, tall building. They can fall or hurt you. They can fall and hurt you. In case you cannot move out of your house, take refuge under the table with your hand on your head. You can stand in one corner of the room. Avoid using electric things, electrical things. Do not enter the building for some time after the earthquake. Do not enter the building sometime after the earthquake because more tremors call after so can occurs for some time. Understood? What are the what are the some preventive measures you can do? So you have to, when earthquake is there, you have to move out to the open space. You have to move out to the open space, park or open ground. Avoid using electrical things. Do not enter the building for some time after the earthquake. Do not stand under or near the tree, electrical poles, tall buildings or they can fall and hurt you. And during the earthquake, if you are inside the room, then go and stand in the corner of your room or take, hide yourself under the table and put your hand up to your hand, head and you protect yourself. So this all preventive measure you can do during the earthquake. Understood? So what are the preventing to what you have learned today? Today you have learned about the preventive measure. What you have learned today? You have learned about the preventive measure. In case of an earthquake occurs, try to move out to the open space like park or open ground. You have to move out to the park or open ground. Do not stand under near the tree electrical pole tall building as they can fall and hurt you. In case you cannot move out of your house, take refuge under the table with your hand on your head or you stand on the corner of a room. Avoid using electrical things. Do not enter the building for some time after an earthquake. Why? Because small Tremors call after stove can occur for some time. Due to after stove, some damaged portion of the house and building can fall. Okay, some damage crack happens. So after earthquake it can fall. So it is suggest you to not the enter under the house, not to enter inside the house. We have to take the time then only we have to enter. After some time only we can enter to a building when earthquake is there. Okay, so it is clear to you all. Today you have learned about the preventive measure. Okay, student, to the listener only. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay.